Hello, my lovely people, and welcome back to another video on the Racer channel. Now, guys, this is going to be a little different from the usual bass playing video that I usually decide to do. You guys have not heard a lot of my voice, and I know that that may seem like a blessing to some of you, but I actually, I wanted to make this video for a little while now because I recently turned 21, and by society's standards and by a lot of people's standards, I am officially an adult now. And throughout my 21 years that I've been on this earth, I have learned quite a bit about life. And I just wanted to come on and share just a little, a little bit of a message for anybody who just, who might need to hear it. I know that my circle on YouTube is very, very small, and I know that this probably won't get a lot of views, but I'm not here, I don't care about the views. I do not care about anything related to the numbers or anything like that. I am just here to hopefully send a message to anybody who might need to hear this right now. So during my 21 years of living, I have made many mistakes. That's just part of being human. You watching this right now have also made many mistakes. And that's just part of being human. That is what you are supposed to do whenever you are a human. Everybody has to ride on the bike of life, fall over a little bump in the road, or it might even be a massive rock or even just a mountain in front of you that you fall in front of. You make a mistake, you fall down. But the thing about those mistakes and those falling down moments is the fall down is not what matters. So many people, whenever they make a mistake, they wallow in self-loathing and they constantly apologize and they just are constantly just feeling awful about the things that they did. But what people don't really realize is that the mistake is not the thing that's going to define you. Sure, some mistakes are worse than others and some people will look down on you for those mistakes you've made. That's just the facts of life. Not everybody is going to forgive you. But that's the thing. People's opinions do not matter. The only thing that matters is that if you forgive yourself. See, if you do something to somebody else that you know was an accident, but you still feel terrible for it, sure, in that moment, feel terrible. Feel what you are going to feel, feel whatever you need to, to get that out. But then look and see around you. Look around the world that you're in. The whole world is not this big, gigantic mountain that you've fallen over. The mountain might be the only thing in your worldview at this moment because that's all you can that's all you can focus on. You might just focus on, ah, oh, I tripped over this mountain. How the heck am I gonna get around this mountain? What the heck, man, I should have been better. I should have been watching out for this mountain, whatever it is. Stopping and looking around instead of immediately going to the negatives is something that is so hard to do, but is something that is so essential for, for self-forgiveness and for others forgiving you. Because as I said, not everybody's going to accept your apology if you apologize for something and not everybody is going to 100% forgive you. And that's just life. But the one person that can always forgive you is you. Your opinion of yourself can greatly, greatly affect the way that people see you and it can also greatly affect your happiness and your willingness to get the hell out of bed in the morning or your willingness to do A, B, C, or D, whatever you like to do. And so many people forget their own happiness matters too. Now, obviously, other people's happiness does matter and you want to be nice and cordial to everybody. You, the, the kindness that you show towards those people, I meant to say, is the same kindness that you need to show towards yourself. Because if you're not kind to yourself, the person that matters and the person that has your back for your entire life, then I don't think that you'll be able to fully 
accept other people's love and fully accept other people's appreciation of you. Because so many times, people forget their own worth. Whoever is watching this right now, you are worth so much. And the beautiful thing about you, who may be watching this video right now, is you are not perfect. You've messed up. You have made mistakes. You have done something bad or done something that you think is bad or done something terrible. And that's just the cold fact of life. But that's the thing. You've done that. You're not always doing that thing that's terrible. You have done those things. As Rafiki said it best, whenever it comes to the past or the present, you can either run from the past or learn from the past. Best thing to do is try your best to learn and always pick yourself up from the past. Because ultimately, <laughs> the past does not matter in the grand scheme of the here and now. And it's taken me a long time to realize that. The here and now matters so much more than any mistakes that I or you have, have might have made in the past. Those mistakes do not define you. The way that you have lifted yourself up, tried to become a better person, amended whatever relationship might have been affected by that mistake, talked to the person whom might have mistaken you, all that stuff, that's what matters. Correcting your mistakes and getting up and back on your bike and learning how to maneuver around this big mountain or the little bump that's in the road is essential for ultimately your self-forgiveness. Because once you realize that all that stuff is in the past and all that stuff was supposed to happen to you, to make you into where you are today, then that's when you can ultimately open yourself up to self-love. Because we are all broken. None of us are 100% put together. None of us can 100% be put together 100% of the time. We can act like we are, but ultimately we are not all together 100% of the time. And that is okay. That's beautiful. That is perfect. That is exactly how the universe wants you to be in this moment. The universe has a plan for you. The universe, you are put into this universe for an extended, a very extended, but also a very short amount of time. And you are a very, very much an integral working cog in this big force that is the universe. You wouldn't be here if you didn't have a purpose. I know that so many people have like nihilistic views about this is all for not, all for whatever, but I just, I just think having hope is very, very much key to self-love, love of others, love of the world around you, and love of life. Because there are so many awful things that are going on in our media right now, in the world, in more than just America, in all of these places. But the thing that we all need to realize is that we are okay. Us as people are okay. Sure, some people do some awful things, but you watching this video right now, you are more than worth it. You are worth so, so much more than I can even fathom. And you will realize this if you will just stop saying, oh, I should have done this. Oh, I should have done that. Oh, I should have done blah, 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 A, B, C, or D. And just slowly come to realize that the should haves aren't gonna change anything. You should have done this. Yeah, we all should have done something, but we didn't. And there's no changing that. The thing that we can do is say, okay, well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Having a plan and giving yourself credit when it's due and knowing that you can do literally anything that you push your mind to. You can literally go out there and the only thing that you need to have is the trust and love and confidence in yourself. 
because nobody can take that away from you. That's something that's yours and that's something that can be crafted and that's something that's beautiful and that's something that's yours. That is your self-love. And holding on to that and sharpening that beautiful sheet metal of self-love into a tool that can easily be used to either make your life better or make other people's lives around you better and just make the world a better place is so key. It's so key. And you just need to stop and just accept yourself because you yourself are perfect in your own little way. Well, you yourself are perfect in the sense of you are here, you are breathing, you are working as you are supposed to. And even if you're not, that is perfect because that is where the universe wants you to be in this given time. And the universe will put you where you are supposed to be whenever the time is right. You, yourself as a person, may not be perfect. And that is what is so perfect about you. You are not perfect and that in and of itself is perfect because there's so much room for positive self-growth and there's so much room to just make yourself and make your little circle that you have around you so much better and so much happier. Because if beautiful flowers cannot grow on soil that is tainted, you are the soil that grows the beautiful flowers that is your family, your relationships, your self-love, your love of your hobbies, your love of doing the things that you do. All this stuff can only grow if you give yourself love. Other people can come along and help you up and help you realize your worth. Other people can come and like trim away the, the weeds and the weeds might represent, you know, your... Um, your sad times and other things like other people can come by and help you and like lead you but the only thing the only person that can truly truly make yourself beautiful and amazing is you and the person that does make yourself truly beautiful and truly amazing is you and that all starts with just a little self-love self-acceptance and just self-appreciation for how far you have come and the fact that you are still here sitting in this beautiful present world that we are in right now and that is that's gorgeous because you are supposed to be here you are more than your mistakes you are 100 percent worth it and coming from a stranger on the internet, whoever might be watching this, you are okay. And things are going to be okay. Just do your best to give the soil that is you a little bit of love, a little bit of, a little bit of care, a little bit of acceptance, a little bit of grace. And then that will open yourself up to a wider, a wider array of flowers and different things to come into your life and truly make you the soil beautiful but it all starts with you so if you haven't today just give yourself a little bit of a hug or go and give your pet a hug or if you have a significant other go give them a hug if you have a friend go give them a hug and just realize how beautiful your life is today now I know I did all this preaching and I know that I, you know, might not know your current situation, but just know that you will get through whatever it is that you are going through. It won't be an easy fight. There will be times where you just want to give up, but strugglers are meant to struggle. And the beauty of the struggle is seeing the true amazing family and friends that we all have around us. And you keeping on pushing yourself will definitely pay off in the end, I assure you. So just keep on pushing, keep on striving to do your best, and just do your best to love and forgive yourself because you as a person, whoever might be watching this, you are enough, you are worth it, 
and you are loved and held by this universe, if not by your family, friends, pets, whatever. So just keep going, man. Keep going, and I hopefully this video can give you just a little bit of hope. I've been talking for a while, but I just needed to sit down and just just have a have a little heart to heart with you guys. So. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video and just remember what I said. The world around you is not the big mountain or the little hole in the or the little hole in the road that you might have tripped over. There is a beautiful world ahead of it, and all it takes is a little bit of work and a little bit of trust in yourself to get around it. So yeah, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and uh love all you boys. Racer out.